Let's talk about UI and integration and leveraging existing QRadar infrastructure for those uh, who wants to use the combination of login sites with uh, standard QRadar. Let's go here under the hamburger menu and go to dashboards. And I'm going to select from here a dashboard. Uh, I like this one, right? What are these? These are nothing more than KQL searches using the framework that Pulse uh, has. And this is an example of something that has been ported from Curator into Login Sites. And, and in fact, I did a video that shows you how you go from a KQL to a Pulse. And it's very similar to the other things that I've done in Pulse. And this, this is the video I was referring there to. Uh, so again, same look and feel that you might be familiar with in uh, curator and, and pulse, but now you what you learn you can use it here in uh, the login site. But uh, this looks to me very very nice. But there are some people who say, well, you know what we we like Grafana. Grafana is our standard. It's uh, sharper, and it's a matter of taste. But they, they, we prefer this style of Grafana. Well, login sites has API integration with Grafana. I don't have that installed, but my friend Christian Rubalcaba. Uh, did uh, set it up and uh, I have a recording of uh, what he did. Let me get some screens out of that. This is one example of the dashboards that uh, Christian uh, created. Again, these are KQL searches, but the way that they are displayed is using the Grafana uh, technique. Let me get another view of this. This is an example where in the recording where he drills down in one of the components of the graph and you can actually see here on the button the, the KQL um, statement that made that graphic possible. Here's another example of uh, the graph that Christian uh, created. This is more on the taking IT type of uh, login information, not just only security. But did another view. Is an aspect of the configuration for the integration with Grafana. Now let's show an example of how to bring along to integrate with things that exist in Curator. For example, in here we have UBA. What happens when we select this option in Login Sites? Well, if this view looks familiar to you, it's because it's precisely this is generated at the at a curator system integrated with login site that is displaying this uh, this information, and it could be that you can soon be able to see uh, stuff done with flows in curator and Q and I and, and, and other things. I, I honestly do not know what are the things, but this shows the capability of uh, bringing along existing uh, technologies, existing investment and knowledge in uh, curator components. And let's explore another section in here, detection and response centers. What we see here are a whole bunch of rules. They are 1229 on Sigma. How many do we have on curator? We apply that filter. You see the, the apply filter is very similar to the use case manager, so things uh, 723 one. But these are these are not uh, correlation rules yet. These are, best way of putting it is uh, uh, search based anomaly detection searches, right? So this is uh, searching based on, on, on anomalies. And you can express those in the so instead of going in login site with a uh, proprietary, proprietary way of specifying uh, logic for rules and detection of things, uh, uh, IBM decided to go with the Sigma rules. And I think that that's actually very nice. Uh, every time that you get a, a new type of attack or threat, uh, there's always uh, people that publish uh, Sigma rules in the end and, and you can leverage on them. You don't have to wait on anybody else uh, to adopt those. and and there's also some uh, curator uh, base uh, rules on that. So let's click on anyone. I'm, again, I'm going to check on on anyone in particular in here. This is a curator one. Let me let me close this 
and select first the sigma ones and apply that filter let's check on any one of this one right well interesting things to highlight here is that there are two formats uh, one is the sigma which is that 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 standard and another one is sticks which is okay if I need to perform a search in login site itself although I would use KQL for that because it's much faster but uh, if I need to go into any other system like an EDR or any other component with that I don't have the logs for, but I can actually query some aspect for my investigation. I can do the uh, I can do that via uh, sticks. And looks like I do not know whether the rule exists on both formats or these things translate one to another. Honestly, I do not know. But uh, in any case, what you have is the ability to go ahead and perform a search in Data Explorer, the one that we saw in the, in the in the second video of this series uh, for performing searches. Let me actually click on it. I, I don't think I'm going to have any data for, for it in, in this uh, demo system, but let's click and see. Notice that we have been brought into the DE comp uh, component. So again, I, I don't have any, any data for it, but you can actually see the uh, federated uh, stick search being uh, actually executed. And to navigate back, we, we go to the hamburger again and go here on Detection and Response Center. And we are back where we were before, right? We can click on these curator ones and look into any one. And I'm sure you will recognize this is the format of the actual logic of a rule in Curator and you can actually also perform a search in, in the E and it will make the call into the Curator system to gather the data for your investigation. Let's conclude this video by going here under Connections. Let me expand this and let's talk about data collector, data sources and ingestion data sources. So. So here on data collectors, these are similar to the DLC that uh, Curator already support on the disconnected collectors. Um, and we can see the definitions for uh, this tool. Let's actually go again and navigate. We go back, revert to, to the hamburger and go, let's go now into ingestion data sources. And in here we'll see the Data source type, we, we've seen this data on, on all the videos that I uh, did on KQL. This is the data that we were actually collecting and searching upon, right? Uh, 37 data sources in here. We revert to the hamburger and go here under uh, data sources. Uh, and this is the type of connection that is being set up to communicate to that curator system. Uh, so we can actually perform queries there. So uh, I hope that this has given you a, a quick tour of login site. That's the, 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 the state where uh, the development is, at least on this uh, demo system uh, that I use in here. And as, as I keep on learning more about the system and the system keeps evolving because the developers keeps adding more components, I will be adding more videos uh, to this playlist.